Come here and that'll clean off all the ball water. See that foaming? Yep. So that's a calcium laden board water you have, which yep. is going to affect any plaque and it'll also remove most of the other things, I would imagine, the tannins. You call the tannins from where the leaves have been? Yes. You got to clean all the parts. Yeah. yeah, I mean, no, no plaque is immune. No. It doesn't matter if it was your car and it was getting sprayed with the same stuff, you're going to have the same problem. If it's a bronze plaque and it's painted, you're going to have the same problem again. Good. How does your bronze hold up here, Glenn? Yeah, I'll take you over and show oh, you. Yeah. Over depends, you know, it depends how people are. Some are very fastidious because look after all the time. Because of their loved ones, and yeah. it becomes yeah. their focus. Yeah. Um, and others just they like them rusted, yeah. looking. You know, That's made a big difference to start with. Quite a lot of it's mothers who will really get. They just about wear them out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we see the same. We, we've got some. They they go out every almost twice a week, and they polish yeah. it. And we have a lot of trouble where they rake the grass and they expose the roots and the grass dies and then they say they're not irrigating it. It's because they're over tending it, they're over loving it. Has this been whippersnipped? Has this been whippersnipped? Yeah, sure. Chris has been sort of coming in here, we mow it yeah. here and yeah. every so often. Yeah. And they've just been treating it a little bit like the other stuff. Yeah. No. So when we whip, you know, obviously we get chips and yeah. the mower can flick yeah. up a rock or a, or a nut. Yeah. It looked pretty bad in the photo, Chris said. Yeah, which yeah. but like you say it hasn't been it hasn't been loving, lovingly cleaned no. like this. Yeah. Like yeah. Albert's in here. Yeah. So that's come up almost like that. Yeah, that chin. Yeah, there's still a bit of stain there. So I've got another compound, which is a cutting compound, which should just take that off. Because by and large, it's a deposit of metal left on the surface. Yeah. Yep. Right. See that? Oh, she looks ten years younger already. Right. <laughs> He does that with all these women, Albert. You know? I do. <laughs> they all require touch up whether they're dead or living. Yeah. That's a bit stubborn on the chin, isn't it? Yeah, there's tannins, or certainly. Uh, so, would we say that if you had did this once a month, you wouldn't get that, would you? Nah, you, nah, you wouldn't get that. And is, there are things you can spray on plaques, um, which is a nanotech technology, and what it does is they use it on pool fences because people have the same with pool fences and glass. Yeah. Um, the, the water leaves a calcium deposit, and calcium can be actually quite brutal on um, uh, sodium hydroxides, and calcium hydroxides can be a bit brutal on um, any, anything which is glazed. So you've got reticulation here, Yep. so you've got that typical West Australian hard water happening. Yeah, the ball water. Yeah. We see that when we get off the plane, just the bloody stain on everything, you know? Oh, yeah. Don't get it over there. See, it's coming off. Coming? Yeah, it'll be off a chin in a minute. Okay, good. See that? Yep. Well, what's that, a couple of minutes? So if you're doing that once a week? Oh, if it was once a week it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. But I mean even like, like you do once every couple of... How long has this one been here? About a year. About a when year. Was the last couple. Yeah, about now. Yeah. Down in Bunbury. Yeah. That's where I go to. Yeah. But you know, the, your bronzers and everything else is going to have the same problem with... Yeah, well with, I'll show you over the, yeah. over the road here. They fade and do all sorts of people. Initially, sort of a grief, it's about five years, and then the attention drops off, they move on. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's very high for that here. period. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a, not a very, um, this is just a cut and polish type thing, a very mild one which we use on high end stainless steel. So uh, the standard car one would have probably done it a bit faster. Have, you got, have you got that laser stuff here, Albert, in Pinaroo? Yeah, there's a couple, I believe, over here in Pinaroo, yeah. Albert does the um, laser etched bloody uh, granite. granite. Yeah. That's pretty good. And how's that stand over in these parts? Does the water do anything to it? Oh, look, all granite is going to get the same um, treatment. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're putting ball water over, you parked your car here, yeah. it's going to damage, well, it won't damage it, but it'll mark your car paint and your car windscreen, and then you've got to go out and get it clean and polished. Yeah. Let's come up right on it. Looks a lot better. Yeah, well that tannin stain is definitely coming off, but it's certainly a stubborn thing, but I mean, tannins are, you know, like in your tea. You know, yeah, what makes cups, tea, tea yeah. is, is a tannin stain. Yeah. We'll leave you here and pick up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I should have had it nice and shiny by then. How many acres here, Glenn? There's 115 hectares, only 16 under grass. Does it cram as well? Does it cram as well? Yeah, the whole thing. It's a cram as well here? Yep. Yeah. No mausoleum. I've never been there, you know. No, neither have I. So the cram's in behind that chapel. Oh, okay. Two burners, uh, 350 kilo and a um, 250. I've had to take 350. Well, we had to put it in a couple of years ago because people were just getting bigger, so they couldn't fit, couldn't fit in the other. We believe the, the fatties, they catch on fire too, don't they? Well, well there's a lot of fat there. She's yeah, they got to ignites. cool them down, evidently. Ignites. It's like a, um, it's like a pound of butter. You put it to, to melt it in a, in a oven, and it just goes <laughs> So that's, so we work on weight to, um, to work out our, work plan and if you've got a 100 kilo lady um, you would be going oh, okay that's going to take so long but if it was a 100 kilo Samoan male young bloke you get twice as long type of stuff because the muscle takes a lot longer to build there's no fuel okay. so the fatties are more economical then uh, they can but they flare up so that's yeah self combusting yeah, so you gotta you gotta watch the machine a lot more. Yeah. The computer struggles with it. I hear sometimes they go through a cooling down cycle, don't they? they... Yeah, well they can overheat and lock you out. And then we take it over on manual and sort of start playing around with the air and the and the burners. What burner you got? Landison gear? Uh, nice. Just the burner. <laughs> yeah, I know Landis and Gear do a lot of controls because anything that burns you've got purge cycles and all sorts of different things, particularly if you're using yeah. gas. This is all um, Marshall. This is all Ostinch um Sounds very German. German. So, yeah, they're all Sounds very German. Was that through um, Nigel? Nigel Gleason, did he tell him to? What's yeah, um, uh, Ostin, I think. Ostin, it's um, yeah. Ross Nigel George. Gleason. Yeah. Ross George is the Okay. So you're staying out there? I suppose you are, eh? So, look, the stains will come off. That's a whole lot better. It'd be nice to... Yeah, yeah if, I, if I'd known I was up against that, I probably could have got something a little bit different, but... What would you have gone for? Oh, probably something a little bit more, um, like a, a car cut, cut and pol polish.